Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to interpret uh, a beam details in a structural drawing. A beam details in a structural drawing. Now, let's start from here. We have one, two, three, four, five, which is a grid line that runs through the beams on the plan. One, two, three, two, seven. If you go to the plan, the same thing you're going to see when we are viewing this beam. Now, we have a continuation here. Continuation here. This symbolizes a column. This is a column. This is a column. This is a column, or we call it support. So the support from, from ground continues on the upper floor. So that's why we have a continuation up, continuation down. Now, this from here to here are the series of supports. From here to here, from here to here, those are the supports. We have now going here. The one you are seeing here, this black line, thick line, that those are the reinforcement. Those are the main reinforcement. We have top, we have the bottom. Now, this one is a stirrup. From here to here, this is a stirrup. Here and here, stirrup. Now, here we have this one to be the top or the support moment reinforcement. We have this one support moment reinforcement. Now, this one is a bending reinforcement. Now, this is a compression reinforcement. This carries the, the, uh, the, the these are the primary reinforcement. Let me put this for this, and this is the secondary reinforcement. But on these sections, it was designed as um a singly supported. So the major reinforcement being considered is the main reinforcement, which is the primary. A tension reinforcement, while this one is a compression reinforcement. Since it's been designed as a singly, simply support, singly re reinforced, definitely the this one is not our major concern. So calling the beam or calling the numbers or the, calling the numbers you are seeing here is here we have three three y sixteen and by max sixteen three y sixteen by max sixteen. Now, if you come to, or if you go to the second, or if you go to the beam sections, you see this reinforcement, you see these numbers being presented in a, a sections. So, you see, three of these, three Y16, three Y16. Now, remember, you have three Y16. Now, on top here, two Y1634. Now, this one, here we have BM3, BM3, which is the beam. This shows the sections, section line where the section of the beam is being cut through. So beam three, beam three. Now here we have eight Y1046 at 300 C stroke C. Now we have eight numbers of Y10 at 46 sorry eight numbers of y 10 by my 46 at 300 this is the numbers of zero from here to here number of zero from here to here now this is the bar type which is the high tensor bar then this is the bi diameter then this is the bar mark then this is a distance at distance between at this time between, then 300 is a spacing. Now, C through C means the center to center. Now, center of this reinforcement to the north, between here and the next one here is 300. So, in time, if you calculate this length, divide by uh, 300, will give you eight of this, or eight of the stirrup. So, So now I'm coming to this one here, yeah, like I said before, um, is a two numbers of Y1634. Then here we have FB3, FB-3 hyphen hyphen into bracket 225 by 450 one number. That is floor, this FB means floor beam three. Now this is the size, this is the 
width of the beam, which is 225 by 450. 450 is the height of the beam, overall height including the slab. Overall height including the slab. Now, how many numbers of this uh, type of beam is being repeated? Just only one. Only one. So, So here is the support, here is the support, here is the support, here is the support, here is the support. Now, coming down here, we have 2925. That is the distance between this grid line and this grid line, or this column, the center of this column and the center of this column, 295. So 2425 between here, 1 and 2 is 2425. Now, this 900 and 700 mean that where the hockey moment affected or where it's going to be considered for the support moment is 700 uh, at 2425 and 900 at the side of 2925. Thank you for watching um, this video. See you next time.